Welcome home everyone, Wookie Legend here. Today we're continuing the how-to for cruisers, how-to for beginners for cruisers. Uh, we're on the Emile Bertin French cruisers. Uh, French are fantastic little boats. Uh, they're actually ideal for new players. They will kind of teach you how to survive. Uh, the whole point of these ships are they're fast. Uh, they have good AP and HE. They're 152s. Uh, they have torpedoes if you if you're in trouble. The range is six kilometers. Not the craziest, obviously. You're, they're for defense. Um, they're really good for flanking and uh, try to stay almost max range. But you're there to support um, your your destroyers and your battleships. So here we go. We're gonna look at the captain and pretty much stick with what wargaming kind of suggests. You go with the gun rotation. You go with HE, right? Better fire chance. Uh, adrenaline rush because when you do get hurt and you will get hurt. Your guns will fire faster. Uh, the 152s, you know, they fire every 13 seconds, right? You want that uh, as fast as possible. And then you want concealment, so you can duck in and out of uh, detection when when you can, if you're a lot, a lot of trouble. So 11 kilometers is uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, equipment, equipment-wise, obviously upgrade everything you can upgrade. Apologies, something's in my eye. Uh, we have hydro. We have a fighter. We have torpedoes, HEAP, uh, and then we're going with your standard set, right? You don't need, um, you could go with this, but you're not going to be pushing too many islands. Uh, late game, this will work out, but for now, just go with damage, uh, damage control system mod one. Oops. And then, um, go with your aiming. So then your guns actually hit when you get your aim in there, right? Okay. Always make sure to have camo on. Never go out there without a camo. Uh, all your types are pretty much, you know, the easiest thing to do. Uh, you wouldn't mind going with speed. Definitely grab some speed. Grab yourself a dead flag. Um, even some AA. You never know if you're going to have a CV in your match. And uh, that's about it. I think we're pretty straightforward here. Let me show you guys how to play uh, the French cruisers. Here we go. Here we go. Later on, the guns do get bigger, um, which means they hit harder. But the reload also gets uh, a little bit worse. The bigger the guns, the slower the reload, even though they're cruisers. But they do hit hard, and they're a lot of fun. Um, later on, you also get speed boost, so you just roam around just uh, smashing things. And they'll have a lot of troubles hitting you because you're max range and you're going really fast. And most battleships are not used to that, especially in a cruiser, so... But watch those shots coming in, because uh, this thing, like everything else, doesn't have a lot of armor. Uh, and it can get beat up pretty quick. So we're going to try not to be very aggressive with it. The word there is, uh, is try. We are bottom tier against uh, sevens. And sixes, of course. So we will try our luck. We're actually very one of very few fives. So we're not in the best position, but we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I think our main focus here is to um, harass the battleships. Uh, when we can, we'll get rid of this destroyer. There's only one, though. Uh, and then we just have to be careful with these guys. Uh, some of them can hit pretty hard. The other ones have uh, really crappy velocity, so we'll be okay. But we're mostly going for battleships. We have no CV to look forward to, which is fine. We're going to hit up that flank right there, and we're just going to keep them busy. If they're shooting at us, they're not shooting at our team. And if they're not shooting at our team, hopefully our team's shooting at them. And then we have a much better chance at uh, actually winning this match. Now, there is one cap. So what we're going to do is we're going to try not to go past the E-line. Which then gives us enough time to actually get back into the battle if they make it to our camp. If we go anywhere past the E-line, which is pretty much the middle, uh, it's a lot more difficult to get back to actually help out with securing your own cap if it's being capped. So keep that in mind. Also... Unless there's one ship or two ships back here uh, at the bottom because the match is ending. You shouldn't really exceed the E-line anyway as a new player. Try to stay on your side where your ships are and not be by yourself on their side where their ships are. Because the chance of you surviving is a lot smaller. And all they have to do at that point is just turn their guns and shoot at you. They don't have to really worry about much else. Um, when you're over here, there's a lot more they, that's they're seeing. And typically, most players will not just start focusing you when there's other things there. So, um, just know, you don't have to go far to win a match. They Most players will move just forward, so they'll come to you. And because you're really good at flanking and kiting, 
Um, yeah, just let them. Let them come to you. Let them make the mistakes. When they're going forward, they're only using their front guns. Remember that. So. Yeah, I see a guy coming. So I'm going to actually turn. And get ready. Because when I fire, I want to already be moving away. I don't want to fire and then turn. Because then I'm going to be eating Citadel's uh, shots from battleships back here. We're just going to wait for a second. We're actually going to switch to AP also. Because if he comes around this way, he's going to be to our broadside. Now, where did he go? Okay, Koenig's right there. And this guy is pushing real hard. He's already at the F line, I bet. Yep, there he is. Where is he going? That way? Fantastic. He doesn't know I'm here. So, let's do that. Now, the reason why I did that is when he comes around that corner and he sees Torps, he's going to panic. And that's where he's going to make a mistake. He's either going to eat them, or he's going to just be in a area where he's not comfortable. And uh, we're going to we're gonna counter him. So, here we go. We're going to stay dark. We're actually going to switch to H uh, AP. And uh, let's see what happens. If he maintains speed, he should be right where the Torps are right about now. I think he actually slowed down, so that's okay. You have to try, because most of the time it's there. Yeah, he's still there, which is fine. There's a battleship too, so we're just going to actually focus on him. Pull on just a little bit. Oh, there he is. No, we are... Push him back to AP. Got a much better shot than he did. There's the battleship. And mistakes were made. We're ducking and dodging. AP. Let's secure this kill. We can get a win. Oh. Okay. Low roll. We know he doesn't have Torps because that's not the type of ship he is. And that's fine with us. He completely extended. He's in a lot of trouble. There you go. First kill, doesn't matter, we're here to win. Really, try not to worry about your kills. Just try to actually get a win. That's the hardest thing to actually get in this game. Harder than anything else. A win is the hardest thing. Uh, most new players don't play as a team. And this game is based on teamwork. Um, the longer you start playing this game, the more and more you're gonna find out that teamwork is actually what's lacking. So as a new player, I highly recommend doesn't matter who these guys are. I have no idea who they are. I've never seen these guys before, but they're my team. So my team needs to win. What do I need to do to help my team? Well, I need to be that support ship that I, I'm playing. I'm playing a support ship. Then we're going to be playing support. I'm not going to go do my little side missions, my little side quests. Like I like to I like to call them side quests because people just go on their own. See, he's not. But people just go on their own and do their own thing. Well, that's not really helping the team. They were that Kavoras on the enemy team. He's not helping their team. He's at H2 going to I2. There's nothing over there. Look where his team is. Look where he is. Can he make a shot? No. And even if he can, uh, he's not in a position to do any countering anything. So if these guys are dying and he has to come help them, well, back there is not going to really help him. He's, he's not going to get any, any help. Now, let's keep moving because we're going to die. Being, being slow. Okay, battleship. Remember, we're focusing the battleships, burning them down. And because we have speed, we're going to get them to shoot at us. Well, he's going to shoot at us anyway because we're a cruiser. And we're presenting side. So we're going to actually stop and turn because he's about to shoot at us. See? Always be prepared for that shot. The stop and turn helps so much. And you can do this multiple times because they will miss. They know to shoot ahead of you. Because they shoot ahead of you, they think they're going to hit you. Because you know that the shot's going to come in. You're aware of it. If you can time it, and over time you will be able to. If you can time it, you're going to dodge a lot. You're going to dodge a lot of battleship shells. Which is ideal, because that's how you stay alive as a cruiser. Even with a DD. Even with the battleship. Even with the battleship. Seeing those shots come in, and you know they are. Because the guy's looking right at you, right? You're paying attention to. You notice how I also zoom in to shoot? Then I zoom out. I zoom out so I can see if anything's coming in. 
they're shooting at you, you need to know from where. So then you know which side you are going to be turning away from. You do not want to be broadside. Okay? Now, to change the guns like you saw me do, uh, you press C. It changes to the back guns or the front guns. The camera actually cha changes. You can change the camera. You can change the camera. It's still the same shot. You can make the shot from here too, but it's a lot easier when you're looking at the ship, right? And just look up and see where he is, and then and then try to aim to where through the island he would be, right? It's not an impossible shot. And if the indicator doesn't show you a little mountain, that means that uh, you can potentially make the shot. Now, the mountain doesn't tell you which gun's gonna hit the mountain. I'm trying to get Wargaming to actually do something about that. Um, so hopefully over time, that's gonna there's gonna be change there. He didn't have time to shoot me, but his secondary is dead. Okay, we're gonna actually move forward. Because he's rotating, his guns are rotating. He's not gonna be looking at us anymore. Or maybe he is. Maybe we shouldn't. Okay. We'll slow down. We'll slow down. Yep. So, remember how I was gonna go that way too? But his guns were looking? Well, that's what would have happened to me. He, he was broadside to that guy waiting, and that guy just killed him. It's that simple. You just have to watch. Why engage someone that can kill you in one shot when you can't kill him in one shot, right? Just wait. Just wait. Be patient. Now, he is coming around, so I'm going to come Torps there, and we're going to get ready again. Now, the whole purpose of us shooting him here is to get fires. We need him to start burning, because the fires is what's going to help us kill him. We don't have enough firepower to actually outright kill him on a 1v1 if he's shooting at us. So, the fires is what's going to be killing him while we're not engaging him. See? It's uh, damage over time, right? Dots. You want dots. Now, we also dumped Torps thinking that he'd do what he did. Uh, unfortunately, we missed. We were so close, he would have been dead. Right? See our fire still ticking his health down? He's not engaging us. He's engaging the battleship. He wants to engage us. He's turning his guns. But it's already too late. I believe he'll die before he shoots us. Nope, he won't. But he will die. So all we do have to do now is... Go thin. Oh, okay. Try to go thin and stop. Most players know that you're moving. Or I assume that you're moving. Um, so if you stop, actually, it'll throw off a shot. He will be aiming somewhere else, and a shot will go short, right? They don't assume that you're going to just stop in front of them. They No one assumes that. Why would you? You're a cruiser. So what you do is you try to trick them. That's why when you're, um, let's say if he's here and, you're, and he's shooting at you, he, he's trying to shoot in front of you so you can run into the shot, right? You, you have to lead the shot. So when you're you're when you're running away from a battleship, you want to lead the shot in a way where you can stop and turn away from where he's shooting. But you're making him shoot there. You want him to shoot where you're going, but you're not go going to go there. You're going to turn away from that spot. You're trying to trick them into shooting there. Okay, that comes with just time and experience. But if you start early on when you're playing this game and learning, you're trying to get that into kind of your rotation. See, he shot, and I turned late, but I still turned. Watch this. See? I took a lot less damage than I would have if I kept on turning. Now, I'm also not moving. Uh, the whole point of this ship and the way it works really well at most cruisers is my movement. A lot, some cruisers can actually stay behind islands and do very well, but these ships, the French cruisers, are all about movement. The, the faster you are, the more you can dodge. That's kind of how it works, uh, and it works really well that way. Now, we're not engaging him, but we can engage him. Our team's slowly falling apart. We're paying attention. He can't shoot us, okay? Oh, he slowed down, but he's shooting back at us. Oh, he got a really good shot on us, but we are also going broadside. 
We're losing a bunch of ships because they're just pushing forward. Remember what I said? There's no need to push forward because they'll push you. They will come to you. There, there, there's no doubt that they will come to you. Oh, we have to help out with this battle destroyer. Hopefully we can get rid of him. That's their only destroyer. Even if our battleship dies, as long as that destroyer is dead, we have a huge advantage. Because then we, we're not going to get spotted by someone that we can't see. Luckily, that battleship's also going for him, which is fantastic. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. Oh, he's paying attention. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I don't think I led that shot enough, though. The other one I did. Yeah, I didn't. But we did catch him, and we were already turning. So see how he shot ahead of us where we were going? Every time. Uh-oh. We weren't aware another battleship shooting at us. Let's be very careful here. Gonna keep moving. And let's get out of this position. The problem is we don't have a lot of ships left, and they still do. And their ships are very healthy, and they have a lot of battleships. Uh, and the battleships are positioned in a way where we're not really gonna dodge a lot of battleships. We're gonna get hurt really badly. Here's a sub. Never mind, he got him. Nice. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by a torp. No, he doesn't. Back to base. Please. You can always ask nicely. We need everyone here because we need to focus fire on them. I don't know why the flint went over there. He knew where he was. Way too late on the smoke. Yeah. It, it doesn't work that way, guys. If you're going to be a cruiser with smoke, you need to smoke before they show up. And you need someone to spot for you. Um, if you're waiting to spot them so they can shoot you, so then you have 20 seconds of them being spotted in your smoke. Well, that's what happens. You, you just die. Even if he had full health, he'd, he'd probably be dead there. This isn't a defensive game, it's an unoffensive game. So I said, sure, read the minimap. Should we go offense now when we're outnumbered and outgunned? Hmm. I'm, I'm letting him make the decision here. I'm not going to tell him he's wrong. Um, and the fact that he's right here telling me that it's, it's not a defensive game as he's coming back to the cap is, is very typical in, the, in this game. Where um, obviously everyone has their own opinion. And everyone thinks they're amazing. But when it, it visually you see that your team is all dead and you're outnumbered. And the enemy team's pushing your one and only cap. This game cannot be anything other than defensive at this point. It may be at the beginning we could have gone offense, but you saw what happened to the offensive team that went forward. They all died. So the problem there is uh, we pushed into their defensive positions with our offensive team and they died. And now they're pushing us uh, while we're outnumbered. So when people make really interesting remarks like that, uh, they don't usually look at their minimap, and it's very apparent, because if they did, they would know that we need to fall back. There, there's no real position here where he's going to go forward and kill three guys while there's guys on his flank shooting him. That doesn't work in this game. And it, there is tactics to this game. There isn't just forward shoot. That's how we lost all our team. The forward shoot tactic. So... Know your ship, know what it can do, uh, know how fast it moves and maneuvers, and be aware of what can kill you really easily. Being a battleship that's broadside to multiple battleships or multiple targets, or just alone in the front like the Arizona over there, uh, you're going to be dead really quick because you just can't kill everything. You, you don't have the reload, 
You don't have the firepower. Maybe one ship, but while you're killing that one ship, the rest of the ships are killing you. Right? So... Oh, it wasn't that guy that was talking. It was... It was... This guy. Oh, the celebs. Yeah. In a cruiser. Okay. Talking about how it's an offensive game. Remember, there's nothing wrong with actually retreating. Uh, we're we're going to lose this game, by the way. But uh, this kind of show, shows you what teams are like. Um, remember what I said, that if we don't push past E, they will come to us. Well, guess what? Here they are. And we didn't push past C. Our team did. And if you can see where our team died, you can understand that um, they all passed, uh, pushed past E, E line. And they died. Now, there is a time and a place to move forward. That is very apparent. When it's a full team against a full team right off the bat, there's really no need to move forward because you're just running into maybe an, a team that's a little bit more positioned. And um, that then makes it very hard to beat them because you have to go around a corner in order for you to be successful. If they're set up and you're pushing to them, right? That you're pushing to their defense, right? You're not pushing to their offense. If they're pushing to you, it's the exact same thing, but opposite. They're pushing to your defense with their offense. You don't sit behind an island and play offense. It doesn't work that way. So when you're reading the mini map and you're seeing where they all are, and you're moving forward and there's nothing spotting for you, they can ambush you really easily around a corner because they've already spotted you, and, but you haven't spotted them. So remember how I preemptively shot those torps at the, the cruiser earlier? Well, that's because I saw him moving that way. He didn't even know I was there. And because he didn't know I was there, right? I can preemptively torp him if he was moving forward and kill him. Now, that didn't happen, of course, because he actually stopped. But then he made the mistake of going forward because he thought it was just me, I guess. I guess he didn't know that there was a battleship there. I am dead here, by the way. Just prolonging this for no reason. Maybe I can kill him and do something more, but I doubt it. Oh, look at that. See how there's too many to shoot and too many to dodge? There you go. It's just impossible, right? But if I had a team, I could still do what I was doing and help my team. Unfortunately, again, the team pushes forward just because they don't understand. They're new, which is acceptable. Uh, but then they die, right? Uh, and then they make comments like when you say, hey, we need to go back to the base. Your team, this person in particular, it doesn't matter that it's him. But in this case, it's him. Uh, says, no, it's an offensive game, not a defensive game. Okay, well, I only comment that because there was four of us and there were still six of them. So, but I hope you guys enjoy. Maintain that distance. If if everyone played their cards, we were playing our card correctly. That's why we're at the top, even though we lost. Um, but a cruiser with four kills, I mean, the, the rest of the team had to just step up and we would have won that easily. This is a typical game at tier 5. Don't get too frustrated. Just understand what the purpose of your ship is. And then try to play it as correctly as possible. And uh, even though people can comment things on the side, take that in. But understand that reading the minimap is more important than someone saying something goofy like push forward when you don't have to. Right? You don't have to win extra. You don't get extra experience for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for me.